everybody welcome to another episode of car addiction today i'm gonna get two more lights in my uh toyota tacoma not that i need it but i actually do lately i've been driving a lot in at night and bad weather so an extra pair of lights would definitely help me out these lights i have 9007 high low leds and these are 10,000 lumens in each one of them so they do a really good job but i noticed if i have an extra set of lights uh, lower to the ground sometimes in terrible weather i can't see more than 20 or 30 feet and this light will definitely help me out and the other thing is i'm not going to use an led 6000 kelvin light instead i'm going to use a uh, just a regular bulb uh, the reason being in my opinion the yellow light helps to illuminate or you can actually see yellow light better than the clear white light but i could be wrong or maybe i'll change my mind later on so i don't know but for the time being i do want to get these fog lights in if this is your first time in my channel i'm a huge nissan enthusiast i got four 300x twin turbos and r32 skyline i have a hard body i recently purchased and S15 Sylvia that's I'll do something with it I just don't know why and I also have an MR2 somebody motivate me to either get rid of it or do what I what it needs to be done to put it on the road so I need that motivation leave it in the comment section hit the subscribe button and the bell notification for all the new videos to come in now I just went to Amazon and I bought this kit I think it was like $96 it is an aftermarket kit it comes with uh, a halogen bulb H10 yeah. it's supposed to be plug and play the kit also came with a lot of stuff first the connectors to the light and then it has a switch that goes inside the vehicle a relay pretty much everything you need so i will leave it in the comment section for the link i'm gonna say for less than 100 bucks uh it's a very complete kit so if you're in the market for a light unless you want to go with an led or uh, something else i'm sure you can buy an led bulb separately and just screw them in because an h10 bulb is an h10 bulb so yeah check these guys out what else i was gonna say oh if you were 21 and younger stop watch a cat video talk to a female do not be a car enthusiast because it is absolutely detrimental to your financial health now the warning is out of the way i'm gonna start working so i already got ahead and got something done because i was a little concerned how to do it so these are the factory ducts. so what you have to do is go under here and you can reach from the behind and at the back there's these clips all you have to do push this clips and it Will come loose nowhere in the bloody internet nobody shows this how to take this off it's so easy but nobody shows it and i was doing my trying to do my homework nobody showed it so the all right and now i'm gonna put these lights on right behind it there's this plastic clip that uh, hooks into the back of it it has a pivot thing so i just took it off put it in there so it makes it easier for me to locate this it should should in all theory there's two holes a lot of sand because up north we got a lot of sand on the road for traction over salt so there is two holes in here and these two holes will click into these two sides of it and this should just click in over there it's all about lining it properly that's the this is the one giving me the problem maybe i should take put it back in this is the one that's giving me all the problem uh, maybe i should go from this end okay That's it, but these two are not in yet. Okay, maybe I need to readjust it. Are you kidding me? It's stuck. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Come on. Okay, where did I screw up again? Okay, this is it. No, it's not. It is not that's in so basically what i had to do is take this piece off secure it there is a hole uh, i'm going to show you on the other end and then these two holes will go on this side and that side there's two holes to line it up and uh, that's pretty much it it is a, a little bit of painful because i have to adjust it all the way down a little bit more yeah i just have to bring it down and then once that's down it goes in easier so the plastic piece uh, i was showing you i took off from the back of the light goes in there and uh, there is a hole right here there's a hole right here so the light holes stays on by these two holes and that no screws necessary a lot of guessing game A 
This is about two weeks down the road from when I started the installation. I guess what happened was uh, I was losing light and I kept focusing on finishing the job and I didn't realize the camera ran out of battery. The microphone cut off because that ran out of battery. So uh, yeah, I did finish the job and after I started checking the footage and I'm like, oh, dang, rookie mistake. Anyway, I'm just gonna show you guys what I did and how I finished it and hopefully I don't make anybody confused. So here's the switch and the switch is eliminated. Uh, here's why. The relay that So the relay that is over here, it's actually supposed to be inside the body and nowhere in the description explained that because on the relay there's this yellow wire that is supposed to clip into an ACC bolt or ACC wire. Basically when you turn the key on then this piece would be illuminated and also the circuit will work. And that's how it's supposed to be done. But in the manual it doesn't say that. So idiot me, I put it here. Now, after I did that, what I noticed is that ACC wire is too short. In order for me to go inside, grab an ACC wire or whatnot, I have to put another piece and I was running out of time and I frankly didn't want to put a piece in. So I just put a gator clip and connect it to the power wire. So that's why this regulator always sees there's power in there. It illuminates the light and without the key, I can just press this. And you see the green light, that means these boys are working without a visible key present. Now, there is one drawback is, you know, when I shut off the car, shut off the truck, I actually have to physically turn it off. If I had the ACC wire on, I can just turn it off and everything will die just like that. So maybe one day in springtime when it's not too cold and it's freezing my <coughs> behind, I can, I'm can. i gonna correct it. Now let's go back to the wiring harness. As I said, the red wire is for the power and the R thing is right here. I just took a self tapper, tapped it in there and then they gave, they actually gave us an extension. So this is the, the part of the harness that's connected to the regulator that comes in all the way and then this blue wire goes to another harness which basically connects both the lights together so the blue wire is basically the the positive connection and then there's another black wire which you, I used a self tapper to uh, tap it to the frame and that's how you get the connection. Uh, that's pretty much it. I hope I didn't confuse anybody. If I did, leave it in the comment section. I will try to explain the best I can. All in all, the kit itself is a good kit. It has all the necessary wires that you need to finish the job, but the wires are extremely short. So what I'm gonna suggest is whoever's doing that is have some extra wires handy. That way you can run the wires wherever you find the wires to be short. Other than that, yeah, it works. The kit came with halogen bulbs, uh, H10 halogen bulbs. And obviously you guys saw, I swapped it up with some LEDs because oh, they look so good. And I did drive, I did drive through a, an ice storm and <sighs> It was just not a good night of driving, but along with my headlights and along with the fog lights, I did good. I really, really like it. Anyway, if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section. I'll try to get back to them as best I can. And thank you for making it to the end of the video. I apologize. This video might look a little uh, not synced, but I'm sorry. I didn't realize that it ran out of battery. And I'll see you next time.